welcome the timeless personal growth and development. Today, I'll give you a good one. Today, I'm talking about apologizing. Apologizing when you shouldn't be apologizing, and apologizing when you should be apologizing. And this can fall into any aspect of your life when it comes to like apologizing. It can come, it could be related to work, it could be related to friendships, it could be related to dating. That's a big one. Especially men now. Men apologize for everything when they shouldn't be apologizing. Or just apologize way too much. But, but I've noticed apologizing, people apologize way, way too much. Especially in situations where there shouldn't be an apology. And this is like a small little interaction example of, let's say you're at a retail store and I find one of the salespeople, they're just roaming, walking around, looking to help someone. And you, you know, you see a customer go up to them and say, I'm sorry, excuse me, could you help me? I'm sorry? Sorry for what? They're standing there waiting for you to actually come up to them with, with them for a question, for them some, to have something for them to do. I'm sorry, um, excuse me, uh, can you help me with it? Go up to them and just say, excuse me, can you help me with this? Stop with, get rid of the I'm sorry part. That's too much in our vernacular. That's too much in our dialogue and the way we speak. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you help me with this? Oh, I'm sorry to be bothering you. Can you help me with it? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it's, it's silly. Even it, like, even silly things when... Someone messes up your coffee order, right? Oh, someone messes up my coffee order. I ordered sugar in my coffee. You know, this coffee has no sugar. Oh, I'm sorry to bother you, but um, I asked for co co sugar in my coffee. Can, can you help me? Stop that. Stop doing that. <laughs> stop being timid and stop being weak and stop apologizing. For every little thing. There's nothing to apologize for. And those are just examples of just day-to-day -day simple interactions. But it's... People seem to apologize and are so afraid of offending people at the simplest interaction. It's super ridiculous. It's super silly. But then there's like bigger examples. If you're having a conflict at work and colleague or supervisor or whatever wants you to apologize for the situation you're in, whatever it was, whatever conflict you're having at work, whatever problem, whatever issue. And just because someone wants an apology out of you doesn't mean they should get it. You're entitled to your opinion. You can use your own critical thinking skills of what you think you should be apologizing for. And a lot of people who always comply to such an apology, comply to easy, quick apologies, are usually people who don't have strong boundaries. Usually. When you're firm and you're strong and you're assertive and you have strong boundaries, you don't care about what people think of your apology or non-apology. If you know you have nothing to be sorry for, don't say sorry. Even if people are frustrated and want that apology out of you, who gives a shit? doesn't matter. Stop apologizing for it. Because that says something about your character. That says something about you. Even, even if deep down inside your gut, deep, I, know, not, not, I used to do this, deep down inside your gut, you know you shouldn't be apologizing or you don't want to or you're really like firm in your belief that you don't want to, but you do it anyway, that sucks your soul, man. That bother, that should bother you. That would bother me. You're apologizing when deep down you shouldn't be apologizing. You're doing it anyway. 
to make this jackass happy. Screw that. <laughs> Don't apologize for it. Oh, they're gonna be mad at you. Who cares? I don't need them. Doesn't matter. No, but if you if you do did something at work and you were like really screwed up at work, really did something bad, I was like a big lack in judgment, and you have to apologize for it, and you know that you have to apologize for it, go right ahead. Apologize for it. Suck it up and do it. But if you know deep down you shouldn't be, or people are, people are telling you like. No, you shouldn't apologize for that, but whoever is trying to get a, that apology out of you is really pushing hard and wants that apology for you and you give it anyway, that's going to that's gonna burn hard. That's going to bother you. You're going to feel a hell of a lot better for yourself. You're going to feel more proud of yourself. You're going to feel more confident in yourself. You're going to feel so much stronger if you just hold the line. Hold your ground. Don't apologize. And this can be used in friendships and relationships too. Men. Men. Today. Are terrible with this. <laughs> apologize to their girlfriend for everything. Every little thing. Honey, you forgot to take out the tra oh, trash. I'm sorry, sweetie. I I'm sorry, I forgot to take out the trash. Honey, you forgot to send that check. That check to the insurance company. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'll, I'll, I'll get right on it. Honey, you're going to go sleep on the couch tonight. Oh, okay. Okay. For what? What do they do? Well, if you don't know, then... I shouldn't have to tell you. Okay, I'm sorry. Even though I don't know what I'm apologizing for, I'm sorry. It's just, those are just examples, but it's silly. It, it's silly and it's weak. Like, let's see, you know if you've done some, you know, if you've done something seriously wrong, go ahead and apologize. If it's a big thing, go and apologize. But it just makes you look weak. It just makes you look pathetic. It look, makes you look childish, especially in a relationship. It makes you look bad apologizing for every little thing especially as a man you can apologize for every little thing when was the last time you seen a girlfriend apologize to her boyfriend you don't see that that often do you no you don't it's usually the other way around usually a girlfriend trying to pushing the apology out of her boyfriend and usually they get it quick yeah because men think complying at the simplest things, complying to everything their girl wants is the way to go and the way to keep peace in the relationship. No, because she's going to lose respect for you. Hold your ground. Be firm. Oh, she may get mad at, mad at me. If I don't apologize, she'll, she'll get mad at me. Whatever. Later she won't be. And she'll get over it. And she'll respect the fact that you held your ground and you stood firm and you stayed strong which is good so lesson of this video stop apologizing so much and realize when you're doing it pay attention to yourself reflect on yourself realize when you're doing it and ask yourself should I be apologizing in this situation if someone's trying to punch an apology out of you and you know deep down you shouldn't be or don't want to don't comply let them be mad let them not like you. It's okay to be the asshole in their story. It's okay for them to go home at the end of the day and they complain about you that, oh, so-and-so didn't apologize. Give them something to talk about with their friends. Give them something they complain about. Be the asshole in their story. It's a good thing. Don't worry about it. Stop apologizing. On that note, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Do me a big favor. Like and subscribe. Timeless personal growth and development. I'll see you in the next video. Stop apologizing.